All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in to this daily horoscope. My name is Athen, and this is for September 18th and 19th, Thursday and Friday. So I hope you guys are all doing well. We've got the uh, moon now shifting into Cancer for these two days. Now, this is where Jupiter is. Now, we all have the opportunity to really expand our feelings right now, to see the horizon, you know, see the distance, see the distant lands, not only on Earth, but in the higher realms as well. And when we do this, there's a tremendous amount of intuition we can gain from this because that's what the moon's all about. It rules the third eye. And when these two planets come together, it really opens that third eye and gives us a vision. So there can be some visions had here. And with Jupiter transiting this part of the chart for the past nine months or so, there's been a lot of um, depth with our feelings, but an optimism, you know. And, and cancer also has to do with our past, our home, our family, and our roots, and our overall blueprint within time and space and really connecting to the fact of the matter that everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. Everything happens in divine timing. And right now, we're, we're gaining a lot of this abundance from our past, from, from our past lives in some way, from our families. And it's serving as a, um, as a gateway into our future because cancer is very seldom talked about in terms of the future, but it is. It, it holds the blueprints for our purpose, for our divine path. Because they're all one and the same thing, the past, present, and the future. But in either case, having a vision for that, I really feel for these couple of days, there's an opportunity for that. Also, opportunity to really expand our horizons, see the big picture, have the optimistic look, which is what Jupiter really provides, have that ebb and flow, okay, and feel into it and see our horizon expanding. And like I said, there can be a lot gained, especially intuition through this. Now, Jupiter's getting closer and closer to a trine with Uranus, which is going to be taking place over the next couple weeks. And the moon's going to be contacting this. So I feel like this is the first real indoctrination to this energy. And Uranus trining up to Jupiter is really about tremendous freedom. I mean, anything that touches Jupiter has an aspect with Jupiter, always expands the energies. So I feel like there's this, there's this freedom that's trying to express itself in all of us in some way, perhaps having to do with the Cancerian things, such as home, family, etc., or a purpose or whatnot. But whatever it is, it's working on a very deep emotional level. You know, Jupiter is the sacral chakra, and it's that emotional body. So in either case, it's really freeing up our emotional body in order to move forward, to, to, you know, to, to be our true selves even more. And, um, and that's, what I think, what really really going to be activated here for uh, these next couple days and even more so through the next couple weeks. So really tap into that freedom, guys. It's a trine. It's not necessarily something that's going to happen to us. It's just something we can tap into if we really want it. It's there. And I think that can really expand us, really expand our horizons when we tap into that. Now, the sun's been in Virgo for the past couple days, so we're becoming acquainted with that energy. So really focus and see how taking care of your health, taking care of your routine, eating right, you know, taking care of your body, these sorts of things is improving your vitality, improving your energy, because this is really the lessons, the experiences that we're having over the next uh, 30 days while the sun's transiting Virgo. And uh, pay attention to that because there's a tremendous amount of energy that can be gained when we take care of our physical bodies, when we take care of our physical lives, our survival, you might say. And the new moon is going to be taking place there over the next few days. And overall, this is just a time right now where we're really going within. So use this time to, the energies are subtle, the energies are more introverted. Use this time now to do that. Then as we start to progress into the next lunar cycle, things will start to come up. And the more inner work we do, the fresher, the newer, the more room there will be for new stuff to come into our lives for this next lunar cycle that we're gearing up for here in a few days. All right, so I'm going to draw an oracle card to see where spirit would like a little bit more information. Okay, Mercury. I didn't talk about Mercury. Mercury's in Virgo. I'm glad this came up. Mercury has been traveling in Virgo for the past three weeks or so. And so we've had a, uh, an understanding or an ability to really understand our physical nature, our bodies, and how taking care of ourselves really boosts our vitality and really helps us improve. Because that's what this is all about. So think about it. Over the past few weeks, what have you learned in terms of Virgo, in terms of the health, the routine, and the survival, and, and, the, and the, also the, the spirituality that's involved in um, the physical realm, because the physical realm is very spiritual. And Mercury is the messenger, and he's always giving us messages in terms of that. And I feel uh, Mercury's messages, especially now uh, with the sun shifting into Virgo, you know, 
we can really tap into that, really listen to that, uh, that, that information, that, uh, that knowledge, that wisdom, that Mercury, the messenger, is teaching us about Virgo. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.